Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be training with someone and I'm going to get them, I'm going to ask them their five, top five tips when training abs on a bulk versus a cut and vice versa. Because so, he's on a cut right now and I'm kind of just sitting at a staple. Not a, I'm not bulking quite yet, um, I'm just kind of maintaining for the moment because I don't have time to properly prep and I want to do it right but it's five to eight and it's a Sunday morning this is the earliest I've been out of my bed on a Sunday and god knows how long and he's late just get just get the meal at editing that's all I need yeah it's a sick edit <laughs> like, no I'm, biggie no biggie like I'm like how much how much for the meal to edit for me just for one video <laughs> please just <laughs> mate rates in that but it's charity <laughs> <laughs> I read your plan
guys, there you have it. Sick workout from my man Parsa. So, top tips, training abs, right. bulk versus cut. Right, I'll just get straight through it, okay. Right, so first of all, bulk versus cut, right? Like, the exercises you do doesn't change whether you're bulking or cutting, and that goes for anything. The only thing that changes is like your diet and like how much cardio you're doing and your body fat percentages. Like, my workouts, but bulking, cutting, no difference. Exact same thing, same weight, same reps, it's just, do you know what I mean? It's just how you eat and stuff. Train, uh, really, training yeah. that, training yeah. it to failure, like well, abs as well. You want to be training abs as much as you can in your bulk. Yeah. See people that neglect abs and then yeah, comes to cut and they go, oh, I don't have abs, so it's just difficult, like, train them. And so, then, and then another thing is like you get people to say like, oh, you don't need to train abs directly. You can just, do you know what I mean? You can just just train your abs, your squats, your deadlifts. That's like saying you can just train your quads through the squats. So you don't need exactly. the leg extensions. Like the more like. If you want something to grow, put more emphasis on that in your training. Increase the frequency, and then that's when you're going to start seeing results. Not by just being like, "Well, I've done my deadlift, so that's abs done for the week." Like, it just doesn't work. Yeah. It's just if you want to work in, like, say, even if you want to work your traps, start training traps three times a week. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's, 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 what, that's the next step I was going to say is frequency of training abs. Don't train it once a week and then expect to have abs like a month later. It's still work. You want to be hitting it at least two or three times a week. Yeah. Like same with calves. You don't grow those calves, baby. Literally. You ain't getting them. So. And then another thing that I yeah, and then you have to train abs with weights, because like I, I used to be one of those guys. Like every single night you do like three hundred crunches in your room, and it's meant to be shredded. It just doesn't work like that. Like abs works the same with any other muscle group. You need resistance there. It's like trying to get massive legs just in bodyweight squats. Like you make some progress yeah. over time, but then it would just stop. If that kind of makes you're sense. Gonna hit, uh, yeah, you're gonna hit a plateau with yeah. that. Like I've actually found I've got uh, you know those ab fit trainers that you've got with the yeah, yeah. So see, do like. The mental ab, do a mental ab workout and then go home and sit with that because it sends the pulses through you're keeping the abs stimulated for about an extra 20 minutes than you normally would yeah, and exactly. geez, on a cut yeah, that's yeah, that's what you need and then yeah so just like yes yeah, so like cable crunches is like my go-to because you can use that progressively over a little bit of time and um, hanging leg raises stuff as well like that last just something yeah. you get like a nice stretch and it's getting contraction and then yeah and then with abs it's like a muscle group that like recovers quite quickly so you literally can train abs every single day and then just obviously just like within reason like if your abs are sore don't go in and try training again like <laughs> don't smash sense, them like, look at like 50 kg on your yeah, rope exactly. like, it's just it's common sense things like that but yeah that, that's what it is the abs not much to it it's just consistency and just yeah I agree weight. with that there you guys there you have it if you like this workout give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you want to see more workouts from my man if not just tell him to fuck off <laughs> <laughs> right guys see you in the next video exactly. peace, peace.